Now the last is the uh, audio phenomena or sounds. So here, uh, what you might hear are um, words, uh, sentences, conversations. Um, they're not going on around you. Uh, you are tuning into them from your withinness and your awareness just sort of pops into the middle of an already existing communication um, either from someone to you or between others that you just sort of find yourself coming into <laughs> the awareness of and hearing and listening to if you want to if you do continue listening you may find yourself there with the ones speaking and mm, this can be very interesting <laughs> Um, there are what the yogis call nada sounds, um, tones, frequencies, uh, harmonics, celestial music. Um, again, these are not happening from around you. You are tuning in from your withinness uh, to them, and you may just in your awareness hear a steady tone or you may hear a few tones that come together as a harmonic these harmonics may also come to sound like music celestial music and this is very nice again if you tune in and listen if you focus and listen you may find yourself there with what the sound is emanating from um, these things usually take you to the soul and spirit planes, and so uh, th this is always very pleasant, very uplifting. Um, you come back into your reality changed uh, for the better, and somehow rather emitting this sound from you as well to others. Um, the hypnagogic and hypnopompic sounds. Okay, so this is these are sounds that that your mind hears um, as it's moving from beta into alpha as it's falling asleep, and uh, then on the reverse end as well, uh, when it's moving from alpha into beta as it is waking up. There are these sounds that if you pay attention, uh, if you're conscious enough during the, the movement or shift from one wave into the other, you will hear these just bizarre sounds. <laughs> um, they could be anything. Um, they're usually loud and somewhat obnoxious, like uh, door slamming, or um, I often hear hammer strikes. Um, what sounds like tap dancing, uh, just these funny cartoonish whirly sounds. <laughs> so um, all kinds of things like this. Um, again, at this point it's clear because you're either falling asleep or waking up that this is coming from your withinness, that you're hearing these. And this is your consciousness actually breaking through one wave vibration and into another. It's hitting that... Um, that border line, that threshold, that uh, doorway or portal, <laughs> and you hear these sounds. Um, the, the thing I want to focus on here for right now and just draw out for a little bit if I can, and I, I have no idea what I'm going to say, but um, this is what I'll start off by calling the ear sound. Um, so many of you are hearing this, I know. I've, I've, I've heard it from many, for one. And so I suspect that this is sort of the, uh, um, the introduction, the uh, uh, entryway into some of these new uh, dimensions or into awareness of already uh, occupying or being in and experiencing these new dimensions um, is, is this sound. And it's not really a sound in your ear. It's, 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 it's really a sound in the awareness. Your awareness is aware of the sound. And I will just say briefly that this can be heard as though in the ears. 
and you may hear it more in one ear than the other at any given time. And there are a lot of ideas about that out there, which I myself do not feel inclined to go into. Um, there is nothing to fear with these sounds. And um, uh, what has to be remembered is that they open you out into more of who you are and the experience that you will gain from them all uh, will be mm, mm, they will open you out they will result in your growth they will result in you moving beyond um, your current threshold and so whether they're seen as positive or negative um, shouldn't be the thing at the front of your awareness the thing at the front of your awareness should be that this experience is going to be to your gain your growth and will open you out it will move you beyond anywhere you've ever been before and so let that be the focus okay um, so back to the sound if you mm, close your eyes and get quiet if this is not easy, you can even use earplugs. Um, but just get quiet within yourself, and you may very soon, within seconds, begin to be aware of a sound that you hear from within you. And so much can come from this sound if you focus on it. Um, at first, you'll be hearing it. Hearing it, hearing a sound is often as though from a distance. There is a sound and you are over here hearing it. <laughs> but if you focus on the sound, you'll find that if you don't put on the brakes, you are moved into it. So you move from a point of hearing the sound to a point of being in that sound, being that sound, being from that sound vibration. And you can feel this full body if you want. If you want to feel it full body, you have to, um, well, I'll say if you want to feel it full body and you're not, it means that you are in the beta brain wave vibration. And all you need to do is focus Perhaps say a mental affirmation in your mind, um, such as alpha, so that you move through the beta wave vibration and into the alpha wave vibration. At this point, you will feel this sound full body through your whole body. Um, you'll still have the primarily uh, physical perspective but you will have moved into um, um, the energetic perspective as well. Um, the two will no longer be in front of or behind one another. They will move into and occupy the same place, the same point. And you'll experience this um, wonderful um, feelable experience of yourself. It is yourself. It is your higher self and your ground level self <laughs> um, coming together as one. And when this happens, you will meet your higher self it will be an entity, a being, someone that you can see and speak with. Um, not everyone wants to do this, but if you do, it's perfectly doable by focusing in on this sound. Um, there's a lot that I'm practicing with right now in regard to the ear sound. 
or the sound you hear in your awareness with your ears. <laughs> it's tricky to say, really. Um, but you'll know what I mean when you hear it. I think I'll conclude uh, this series on the vibrations here. If you're experiencing any of this, I would love to hear from you. Um, if you happen to be watching this somewhere where I've linked to the video, you can click down in the bottom right portion of the video and it'll take you to the YouTube page and you can make comments or ask questions um, or just let me know what's going on there with you. I'd love to hear it. Um, let's keep putting this out there. And I will be back soon with more. Namaste.